Okay, welcome back to Torpedoes and Tarantulas, guys. We have another unboxing today. This is probably going to be the last one for a while. Um, I need to stop spending money on invertebrates. Besides that, right now I've pretty much got like everything that I want, um, especially now. Uh, so we will go ahead and start opening up this package. This one came from Staten Island overnight delivery. Today is Saturday. Um, and normally FedEx does not deliver on Saturday or it is more expensive But the guy that I got these from was cool enough to ship them for delivery on Saturday So that's really really cool. Um, I found this guy Like with the uh, female um, blue femur. I found this guy on a Facebook group uh, His name is Frank and he has a um, little business called NY Insect Zoo out of Staten Island, New York. And uh, he's got all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, I put up on the, uh, on the uh, page, I was asking if anyone had a particular species of spider. He got back to me and told me that he had them. And I told him I wanted two. And here they are. And now that I can see their size, I'll kind of know um, what kind of enclosure I need. Like I said, uh, I think I said these are true spiders. They are not tarantulas. Very nicely packed. Um, these guys are a pretty, uh, pretty deadly spider from what I understand. They're also really, really fast. Um, they... Are known to be possibly one of the most venomous spiders on the planet. I, of course, am talking about the Sicarius Thomasoides or the six eyed sand spider. I'm going to get their enclosures made up. We're going to rehouse them and then we'll end the video. All right, so I didn't get it on camera, but I got the first sand spider into a vial. Fortunately, there are like a lot of uh, other. True spiders like the wolf spider, they cannot climb the sides of the enclosures. Uh, the like um, uh, smooth plastic and glass, unless you know there's something on the side of it. So we're just going to go ahead and put this guy in here. I've got an enclosure made up for it, and we dropped it down in there. Um, I got, I was, I went to the NARBC. You you see how fast they are. I went to the NARBC uh, expo. Uh, up the road for me today picked up some desert sand unfortunately this was the only color that I could find but I still think it looks kind of cool I'm gonna try to get some um, up close footage of these guys here at the end of the video but let's get the other one rehoused so I can breathe a little easier all right guys so after a few tense moments there I finally got the other one into the vial and now we're going to put it in its new home these guys are fast, 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 and I'm really thankful that they cannot climb. Let me see if I can get you an up close look at these guys. All right, so here we go. This is the first Sicarius Thomasoides in its new enclosure. These are really cool looking animal. Um, they are a true spider. I'm not exactly sure where they're from. Uh, they live below the sand. They do not burrow. They're, they, they're not fossorial. They just live pretty much right below the surface of the sand. They use those long legs. They throw sand on top of themselves until they're hidden. And they are an ambush predator. They will wait for food to run by and whack. Grab it. Use that lethal venom. Immobilize the prey. And then eat it. Let's see if we can get the other one on camera. I am so super excited to get these guys. This is another spider that I've been looking for for um, probably a couple of years now at least. And I finally got lucky and got on a Facebook group and found Frank uh, Soma, Sama, something like that, S-O-M-M-A. Anyway, he has um, a Facebook page and a business called NY Exotic Sioux. He's out of Staten Island, New York. And like I said, he's got some really cool, like, the unusual, out of the ordinary stuff not everybody else has. Um, he did have some ogre face spiders, which would be another one if I found them. I would probably buy some, but for right now, like I said, I'm going to lay off of the uh, invertebrates for a while. Um, I did pick up a couple at the expo. I will show you those here in just a second. But there we go. 
There are my two new additions, my six side sand spiders. Now let's take a look at what we got at NARBC. All right, so here is the first of two critters that I picked up at the expo today. This is a mature male, a Phonopelma calcotes. Uh, many of you know I have an adult female. Well, now I have a male, so another possible future breeding project in the works pretty soon. Um, I found out about these guys on that same Facebook group. I asked if anyone had a mature male. This guy said he had some and that he was going to be at the expo, which I didn't plan on going. Wasn't even really aware of it until he told me. And I said, oh, well, I'm going now. I'm going to pick up a male from you. Um, I can't remember the guy's name for the life of me. Forgive me. But uh, he has a business and a Facebook page called Bug Cage Company. And they have tons of uh, really cool tarantulas, um, scorpions, centipedes, True spiders like fishing spiders, wolf spiders, stuff like that. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go check them out. Bug Cage Company. There we go. That is my first pickup. Let's see if we can get the uh, other pickup on camera. All right. So you might not be able to see it all that great, but here is my second pickup. Another spider that I have been looking for for quite a while, and I finally found one. Super, super excited about this one. Look at those spinnerets on the back of this thing. Um, it, it's it's a young one as well, probably an inch, inch and a half, so it'll get much bigger, and it'll start to get some really cool colors uh, as an adult. But this is the Colombian funnel web spider. The scientific name is the uh, Linotheli megatheloides. Uh, Petco from the Dark Den has one. He's the one that I think he was one of the first ones that I saw one of these and I thought, man, I got to have one. So there we go. There was uh, four new additions to the collection all of a sudden today, just in, in a matter of a few minutes there. So I'm really, really excited about these new additions. Hopefully you are excited for me as well. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you'll let me know with a thumbs up and a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. Share this video with your friends. Take care of yourselves and each other, guys. Have a great day or a great night. God bless.